The Royal Rule Breakers, How Harry and Meghan Have Torn Up Strict Protocol on Their Tour of Australia by Hugging the Public, Holding Hands and Taking Selfies. From showing signs of public affection with each other and their fans to posing for selfies and going barefoot on Bondi Beach, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have emerged this week as the new royal rebels. The newlyweds with a baby on the way have been making their way across Australia as part of their first royal tour together, where they have snubbed traditional protocol and made their own rules. From displaying their love by holding hands to hugging fans, posing for selfies and even being spotted with their phones during official engagements, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are like no other royal couple before them. The loved-up couple continued to snub royal protocol on day five of the tour in Cindy as they continued to hug the public and walked barefoot while holding hands along Bondi Beach. While it's not unusual for modern royals to bend the rules a bit, it's quite uncommon to see members of the monarchy bend on some of the traditional guidelines. No hugging members of the public. According to HBO's recent royal family documentary, the royals have a strict policy of not sharing hugs with members of the public. While that may seem cold, it's actually seriously relaxed compared to early royal protocol. While royals now freely shake hands, and in some cases even hug, supporters, there was a time when they weren't even allowed to greet them. On Thursday, the Duke of Sussex and his pregnant wife visited Melbourne's Royal Botanic Gardens where some fans had been camped out for hours waiting. Among them was 19-year-old India Brown, who said she'd been obsessed with Prince Harry for more than a decade. Her patience was rewarded when the expectant father spotted her in the crowd and shared a hug after he saw her sign, which read, Been here since 4 a.m. Loved you since I was 8. India told Prince Harry she knew hugging was against protocol but to her surprise she got one anyway. He just said, you are going to get me into trouble, she recalled. It was just such an opportunity and I just went for it. I didn't expect it to happen because it's actually against protocol. He reciprocated the hug too. It was awesome. Prince Harry wasn't the only one doling out hugs during his and Meghan's joint tour of Australia. The couple both shared an adorable moment with a little boy called Luke Johnson as they arrived in the rural town of Dubbo to meet with farmers. The child, a five-year-old with Down syndrome, threw his arms around the royals on the tarmac at Dubbo Airport. Luke was then seen stroking Prince Harry's beard as Meghan laughed. No holding hands. Traditionally, it's against the rules for royal couples to show their love for one another by holding hands in public. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been in trouble for trying this before, but it appears they decided to just go for it during their time in Australia. The pair were seen holding hands as they touched down at the airport in Sydney, Australia, as they visited the Taranga Zoo, while touching down in Dubbo and before a speech in Victoria Park. On Friday, Prince Harry and Meghan were seen with their fingers locked together again as they strolled together on Bondi Beach. Public displays of affection have been deemed inappropriate for members of the royal family, specifically the Queen. According to body language expert Robin Kermud, the anti-PDA protocol is more a precedent set by Queen Elizabeth II than a rule set in stone. The Queen rarely holds hands with her husband in public and this seems to have set an unwritten precedent for the other royals he said. It's very clear that William and Kate are emotionally close, however, they do not seem to feel the need to prove their love, particularly when on official state business. No photos with members of the public. Royals are strictly forbidden from snapping photos with members of the public. Typically, royals young and old follow closely, but Prince Harry couldn't resist throwing tradition by the wayside to make a young fan's day. The Duke was seen snapping a photo of Meghan with a young girl whom both noted looked a lot like the Duchess in her youth. Prince Harry spotted the girl, called Sethunya Gibbons, in the crowd outside the Sydney Opera House on Tuesday and asked, Do you want to meet my wife? He then asked her, Do you want me to take a picture of you two together? The girl's grandmother told Meghan, We feel she looks a bit like you, which the Duchess agreed with. I was literally about to say the same thing. She responded. Meghan also said I look like her when she was little, Seth Hunya said of her interaction with the former actress. It made me feel really happy and excited. Meghan isn't the first royal to abandon this tradition. Prince William, who confessed that he's allergic to selfies, happily snapped a photo with a fan during his Aunt Kate Middleton's Nordic tour.
no personal phones during official engagements. Meghan Markle was seen clutching what appeared to be an iPhone X during a visit to Dubbo, Australia. Prince Harry also appeared to have a phone in his pocket during that leg of the trip. It's a rare occurrence to spot a royal with their phone visible during an official engagement.